Sparks still flying over abortion rights in the race for governor. What is not okay and what we're asking not to do any further of is attacking Planned Parenthood by name. At the State House Monday, Democrats asking Republican Phil Scott to stop airing his new TV commercial, the one featuring a longtime Planned Parenthood leader. I'm outraged and sickened that Planned Parenthood has distorted the position Phil Scott it takes today and the position he has always taken. The commercial claimed Planned Parenthood was trying to distort, even lie about Scott's pro-choice record. You need to respond to an attack, and that's what we're doing. It came after Planned Parenthood's commercials, telling viewers that in 2003, Scott had supported a bill in Montpelier to notify a parent when their child sought an abortion. Why this has become such a key issue in the last few days is because of his answer in the WPTZ uh, debates. In last week's debate, Scott called the controversy a wedge issue. Then on Friday told us. So if elected governor, would you favor making any change to a woman's um, access? No, absolutely not. I'm, again I'm and again, Scott emphasizes right. he's pro-choice, uh, supports Planned Parenthood, right thinks they do great work. But on Monday, he acknowledged that if a parental notification bill affecting young girls, quote, came to my desk and it had the support of a majority of Democrats, I would look at it, end quote. Scott added it's nothing he'll propose or think will ever happen. Still, that may be enough. Parental notification is very much a part of being pro-choice. To keep this debate going a bit longer. Defunding. Now, clearly, with one week to go in this election, Scott would love to change the subject back to affordability, to the economy. But tonight, his TV commercial remains on the air, and he says it will remain on the air unless the other side takes theirs down. Live at the newsroom tonight, Stuart Ledbetter, NBC5 News.